Today, we're gonna do a review video. Yay! Your girl went to Mac and did a little damage, y'all. I'm not even gonna bring out my receipts because it was just, it was, it was too much. But there's a reason why I did it. Have you ever wondered, like, what happened to us wearing Mac? Like, what happened to Mac? Like, nobody don't talk about her no more. Is she not in no more? That's not that girl no more. Like, it's all about the Fenty. It's all about the Vanessa Deona. It's all about, it's, it's just all about these other people. What happened to Mac? Because when I started makeup, I used to live in Mac. I had the biggest Mac collection of all the lippies. Every collection that came out, like, once a month, I was there either online or in the store. But that's okay, because you know what we're going to do? We're going to review Mac. We're going to review a couple of Mac bangers. And we're going to see if Mac is still it. If we can get back into wearing Mac again. I think we could. My background was loud. But as I keep doing all this talking and rambling on, let's just hop into the video, okay? So as I said before, I went to Mac and I spent a lot of money. Like, not a lot, but, you know, I spent some coins at Mac. I forgot how expensive Mac was. Maybe that's one reason why people stop going there, huh? Because I'm telling you, like... I was like, ow. <laughs> Just for the few items I got, I spent some coins, but it's okay. I also, but I also had a few items in my collection that I wear. They're staple anyways, and I wear them all the time, so I already know how they wear. And then a lot of them is some new items that I never wear, wore before. So we might as well get started and get, get right to it. Um, the first thing we need to do is prime. I realized I forgot to get, grab a primer. Like, who forgets a primer? Like, that's... That's the foundation of every makeup look, I guess. I don't know. So I'm just going to go in with Max Fix Plus and just... We're going to start with our brows. And for that, I have bought MAC Eyebrow Styler in the color Spike. Now, I used to use this, but I stopped using it. And I think it's because, like, this is the darkest shade they have. And it was still too light how I like to do my eyebrows. But we're just going to go ahead and get into it and do our eyebrows, right? Of course. And yeah, like I said before, I kind of figured I wasn't going to be a fan of it because it's a little bit lighter looking in the viewfinder, but hmm. It's a little light. I mean, like, it's okay, but it's a little lighter for my taste. Like, I can wear it in the wintertime when my shades look, when I, you know, when my pigment is a little lighter than normal. But in the summer, you know, you get that summer tan, it doesn't, sh it's not as vivid as I would like it to be. But, I mean, it does something. They can play, it, I can't complain about it. The pencil is very small. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go. So, I do like the lead is small. I do appreciate that. So you get nice little pencil strokes. And then it has a spoolie on the other end. So you don't have to use two things. A whole nother contraption to get your eyebrows done. So that's a plus for that. But yeah, so here's my eyebrows. Like I said, I give it a... I'll give it a, a 1 out of 10. I'll give Spike a 7. So for my eyebrows, let's go ahead. And I feel like I want to clean up my eyebrows some. Because... I don't wear my eyebrows like this, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, even though it's a natural eyebrow. And I hope my background isn't too loud. It's late at night, but I live on a busy street. And apparently, it's not even warm outside. But apparently, everybody want to be outside being all out. Like going house. Shoot. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can really see exactly what I'm doing because we're here we're here we're getting this in so to correct under my eyes I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Long Concealer in the shade NC50 I just want to clean up underneath my brows because we like to multitask here people and that means that in one evening we're going to get a couple of we're going to bust a couple of videos out okay so we got to look good and I'm just going to clean my eyebrows up real quick and yeah okay now that the brows are done we're gonna go ahead and start with our foundation it's so crazy you guys back in the day and i'm gonna show you back in the day when i did wear mac i used to be infatuated with 
Max Match Master. And I knew that this shade right here was really orange for me now. So I was like, well, let me go to MAC and get, you know, in a different shade, a little cooler. They don't even make this no more. Like, I asked what, why. They was like, oh, no, they, they substituted for the um, Studio Fix Fluid. Or I think he said Studio Fix Fluid. I was like, what? So, yeah, if you guys got this, like, I hope you get out in love with it. Because if you run out, it's gone. That's it, baby. That is it. So I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. With SPF 15 in the shade NW50. Okay, so now I'm starting to remember like why people kind of shied away from MAC. MAC is full coverage. Like, there's no F ends about none, no mediums for she full. She is a full coverage gal. Like, I'm like, wow, I'm so used to, and I think that's why I stopped wearing the two. Cause like, I'm not a fan of like light coverage. I like a full coverage foundation, but I like to, if I use like a medium, I mean, I like the medium to full. And if I use it, I use like a little bit of it. But with this, you gotta use very little bit and spread it out because like, she covers it all like you looking like a barbie a plastic barbie now which is okay sometimes not for everyday wear but if you got something special going on i can understand why you would want to wear it because i would too um we're gonna but so for the foundation for coverage wise 10 for the heaviness i kind of feel of it i kind of give it like a, mm, a six so in all a six between six and ten is like an eight so you know we're gonna get that at eight. Now we're gonna go back to the same concealer, but instead of shade 50, we're gonna go into shade NC45. This gal. So we can get a little highlight. Sheesh. Oh yeah. She highlighted. She is highlighted. Okay. <laughs> This concealer, bomb. Um, just like the foundation, the concealer is full coverage. So, that, that, um, that is, I, that's fine. With my, with my concealers, I'm okay with a full coverage concealer. Um, I'm okay with it covering and everything. Can I mean, I just, it looks flawless. I forgot what it is to have like a highlighted concealer because you know the natural look been so big lately and it's like nobody really wants to look like they got makeup on but flawless skin and we all know that's not realistic but i'm just setting it right now with my laura mercier because like i said i didn't grab everything and i forgot to grab a setting powder and um so i just want to set it real quick before it start creasing up on on me and then I look like somebody grandma so I just want to set it real quick but yeah I love the color I love how like it blended in so nicely and it covered it gave me that highlighted look I feel I haven't worn you know a highlighted look like this in so long and it feels good like this is a big 10 for me so I'm 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 satisfied I like I like the concealer we're gonna keep the concealer. I kind of like it when it blend out underneath my eyes too. But yeah, so now that that's set, we're gonna go ahead and go into some contouring. And it's so funny that back in the day when I used to when I first started contouring or bronzing or any of that stuff, I used to use blunt. It was about, it was the first thing I ever knew when the girls used to have the makeup they're like oh get blunt because you know she is a contour shade for every dark skinned girl and any melanin girl and it's just it, she's that you know she's that so I went about blunt and I love it and I still use it to this day
You see that? Like... She's nice and cool. And y'all, I got a double, triple, and a quadruple chin. And she works for all six of the mugs. Okay? So, I'm just going to go ahead and contour. Then we're going to chisel this nose. This schnozzle. We're going to chisel this schnozzle. Do y'all miss makeup tutorials? Like, I know since quarantine, I feel like we all been going to, like, actually before quarantine, since the messiness in the beauty community back in 2000 and, what was that, 18, 19? It's like, nobody really don't do makeup tutorials no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about the vlog lifestyle and hauls and everything. Don't get me wrong, because <laughs> those videos I do. But I just kind of miss, like, sitting in front of the camera and just, you know, kind of miss. I kind of miss people, because <laughs> I just started, but I kind of miss people sitting in front of the camera and just showing you how to do some eyeshadow looks, because sometimes you need some inspiration camera stop but anyways like I said my goal is to bring back makeup tutorials so or some kind of version of makeup tutorials so yeah now we did our contour a little nice light contour nothing too heavy we're gonna go into some blush and I use MAC blushes I use a couple other blushes but this right MAC blushes is my go-to they're pigmented they show you'll need to use a lot of it um a little goes a long way i just i love mac blushes even uh blunt blunt is actually a a, a blush yeah blunt is actually a powder blush that you know people use but it's, it's a contour for us so it's weird i guess for deep 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 skin i guess i don't know but i've been used to blush and raisin which was another Blush that everybody used to use back in the day. Like, girl, if you want that natural look, go ahead, use raisin. Use raisin so you'll be cute. Okay? You'll be so cute. Look for my blush brush. And I don't know which. Okay, here it is. And we're just going to put a little. Oh, so the blunt, the, the contour, that's a, that's automatically 10. Because like I said, I use it all the time. As far, as long. Also with this blush. Because I use it all the time. So these get a 10 for me. that now we're gonna go into the highlighter and I'm gonna use this highlighter I bought this to go with my studio kit for clients and I wasn't I got too many highlighters I wasn't gonna buy an additional highlighter so we're gonna see how this look on me because it's very light but this is the only light one I had like I have tons of others that's in my shade but this is the only MAC one I have so we're just going to use it but this is the extra dimension skin finish and double gleam so it's actually a skin finish but we're going to use it as a highlighter because she bright like she bright bright so we're just going to go ahead and slap this on our face oh she's sparkly too hopefully she ain't too bright I'm just going to go in lightly Hmm, not that bad. Oh, she glittery. Oh, I hate, I am not a fan of glitter highlighters, but we're going to make do. Like, you can see her, though. She, oh, she's pretty cute. Okay, I can see you. I see you with a light little, with a little light hand. You pretty deso. You know, my vis visible cupid bow. Yeah. I said invisible. It's not there. It's okay. I said she's actually a skin finish, but she's so bright we can use her as a highlighter. So, yeah. So, to finish everything off face, face wise, we're going to use my holy, my holy Grail. I use no other fe face powder but this one. Literally. I might switch other things out here and there from other brands, but this. 
I only use this. I use nothing else. And this is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. And also I have in Dark Deep. For the summertime, I've been out in the sun too long. Your girl, Little Chocolate. I use that too. And I use the buffing technique. And I heard, what's his name? Wayne Gross. He showed this like years ago. It's when you take a finishing powder and you swirl everything together. And it'll have a seamless finish. And you buff it all together. And it really works. Like, you feel like there's no harsh lines anywhere. And then I'm just going to set my brows and my eye. But yeah, my nose. You have no harsh lines anywhere. And it just works. So this is like a 100 out of 10. A 20 out of 10. That's, that's the goat right there. So yeah. We're going to go in now with the MAC Prep and Pine Fix Plus in the scent, the scent of rose. I don't know why I have my mouth open. Girl, oof. Yeah, just mouth open all the time. My mouth stay open. Goodness gracious. Pick up your bottom lip me ring in. Tragic. So tragic. So as my base, as I'm looking at my base, because I got a mirror here and over there. And um, and if you find them, your girl like it. <clears throat> For full coverage. Oh, I haven't worn full coverage in so long. Damn, daddy. I mean, I really want to do my eyebrows over again. Like... I, would I really want to like finesse my eyebrows and stuff. So like this is like really ugh, basic. But as far as the face go. She digs it. She digs it a lot. Let's continue. Let's, let's get on with this shit. Okay. So we're going to get into the eyes. And I bought three eyeshadows. Which <laughs> your girl looked at the receipt. And can't believe that these damn eyeshadows are $16 a piece. Why? 16, 32, and 48. I can't believe I spent $48 on three eyeshadows. Three. These gotta go back. I can't no, I'm not keeping these. I don't care how great they are. Um I just I can't. Like that's just so much. I guess I for that price I could have bought um an eyeshadow palette, but I just was trying to find something real quick and simple. And end up paying a fortune, apparently. Where they do that at? Um, we're going to go with a, a, high, a brow highlight. And this is satin. I'm sad. This is grain. Which is like a cream color. And I already checked these eyeshadows out before. So they are nice. I, I, MAC do have some really great eyeshadow. Some really great eyeshadows. But it's just not worth the price. Maybe the palettes are worth more. But I just know the price itself is just... An individual is just not worth it. I mean, this is a cute brow highlight. It's very subtle. That's what I like in my highlights. Just a nice subtle. Just something there, but nothing to overpower the, the whole eye look. Like, you see people have some eyeshadow be like, what? Okay. That's, that's what you're doing with your eyebrows, I guess. But um, it's subtle. It's just not worth $16 for that little ass pan. And I feel like I could go to Ulta and get a NYX for $30 to so $16. I'll get a whole eyeshadow palette for one. Okay? It just ain't worth it. But this right here, this shade is She the Shit. This is Brown Script. And everybody remember Brown Script. Brown Script and Embark was those two eyeshadow. Um, those two were the two eyeshadow transition eyeshadows that everybody used to wear back in the day. We're gonna wait for that. We're gonna wait for that. Um, 
And then last, I have mulch for eyeshadow topper. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. She got right up in the lens. You see that? Back up a little bit. There you go. <laughs> but, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and put this all over the lid. Hopefully you'll see something like, I guess I could have used a base, but it's late and I don't want to be up. I don't want to do the most just to record. You know what's bad? I hate wasting makeup. I had a very traumatic experience, which I feel I could share with you. I probably have a story time on it, but... I had a very bad traumatic experience and now like I hate wasting makeup like if I do my makeup I have to be going somewhere or if I doing it at home I want to record like a lot of videos with the makeup look I just hate to put on one makeup one time and then take it right off again and every time we die I'm like oh I just want to go play in my makeup I just want to play I want to make some looks but I'll be like do you really want to make your makeup? Do you really want to sit here? Not only that, like, do I want to sit here and take it all off and do a whole skin routine and everything? It's like, that's so much. And then it's like, do I want to do my hair? Do I want to put on a wig? Like, it be too much. By the time I, I geek myself right out of, you know, doing makeup. So, yeah, it don't last too long. <laughs> We're going to go back in with um, grain and we're just going to put it in our inner corner as an inner corner highlight like so. So, like I said, the eyeshadows aren't meh. I mean, they ain't nothing to get excited about. They buttery, they smooth, they blend, but it ain't it ain't worth your coins. I mean, for the quality, it's a 10. For your coins, it's like a 4. Okay? So, let's just say even 6 because it ain't worth your coins. Um, We're going to go... I said, um, a lot. Like, damn, girl, stop saying um. We're going to go ahead and use an eyeliner. And we're going to go in with Feline. And, yes, I'm going to tuck my eye. So we go we went ahead and line our top water line and as you can see she is not used she is much love so this is also a 10 and we're just gonna go ahead and then <clears throat> flat brush and just blend it out just a little bit splint it out to a wing just a little just a little wing I'm gonna go ahead I didn't buy any MAC lashes because they're just too expensive and I have tons of lashes at home and I just don't want to spend $27 on some lashes and I have plenty at home. So that's what we're not going to do. Sorry, we're not going to do it though. Now while we're waiting for that glue to dry on our lashes, I'm going to go in with MAC Eyeliner Pencil and Coffee and we're going to just line our eyes. I said it before and I said it again. It was, this is the first time I ever discovered this eyeliner pencil and I love it. I I will find from, from the beauty supply stores to the high-end stores and the luxury. I cannot find me an eyeliner that lines my waterline and glides so smoothly that has pigmented that's not glittery. I mean You'll find something that has some kind of glimmer in it or something that's not light, you know, dark enough and it's too light or it's just so tough that it just tugs on your eye and it hurts. This eyeshadow, can you see that? Look at that. Y'all see that? Good. It is pigmented. It glides so smoothly. I love this one. Woo! I'm so happy I, I discovered this. This makes me such a happy girl. Happy, 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 happy. happy. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm finna go in with, next, I'm going in with MAC, MAC 
Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And this is, everybody love this mascara. I'm sorry. I tried to say mascara, but it sounds weird to me. Everybody love this mascara. And it's just, it's so, I mean, I guess because of the wand, it's really little. But then I have some mascaras that's like that with the little wand. So, I don't know. This is good. I mean, I guess because of the the wand is skinny, it's really good for your bottom lash. There, I feel like there's more out there. I got some in my collection already that has a really thin um, wand for to get the bottom lash. As far as my top lashes go, it's separated. I don't know if you can see, but they got they were separated pretty okay. They're not thick. They look a little longer, but they're not thick. I'm gonna have to give this another go. Maybe I'll wear it like during the day out and about maybe the formulas are really good but to me it's just a basic mascara so i don't know about all that i'm about to put my lashes on and then we're gonna come back and i finish up the look with my lips okay i'm back and we got the lashes on so let's just go ahead and finish up this look i am going to go in with mac chestnut mac is the only lip products i use for my lips nope take that back their lip liners, the only liners I use for my lips. They're the only one that shows up. They're the only ones that look like they're dark enough. I mean, I tried some other ones. I wasn't a fan on it. On it. I can't, you know, I'm a creature of habit. We all creatures of habit. I just like my night moth and my chestnut. I need a brown, I need a red. It works. Why do I need anything else? Okay. I got more though. I got more to try out, but just for right now, those are the only two I need. For lipstick, I just like that. I like their lip product. I like their lipsticks. I like their liners, and I like their lip gloss. So I got tons of them. I'm either I think I'm gonna do cream in your coffee, or among the flyer flies. These are they look very similar, don't they? This is more lighter. This is more pinker. This is more peacher. And I think. I want to go peach. So, I'm going to go with this one. And to top it off, we're going to go with MAC Pumpkin Lip Gloss. Power Glass, I guess. This is something new. Um, we're going to go in this shade Comic Book Ending. So, whoa. Y'all see that? <laughs> that took me by surprise. You guys see that? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. This is old YouTube. Y'all see the way the dofu look? It's so weird. Can you see that? Let me get myself out of focus. There we go. Y'all see that? It's like it's wavy curve. I don't know if mine's broken or that's the way the dofu is now. Oh, that's weird. It's like a pretty powder blue. It's like it has. Can you see? No, but it has blue sprinkles and sprinkles. It has blue sh sprinkles, right? Glitter, glitter. It has blue glitter in it, so that's pretty awesome. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish this look off with some more Fix Plus. And that is it for this look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make this video. It kind of made me fall back in love with MAC again. And I can honestly say I'm very satisfied with the results. Um, there were a couple of new, there was a couple of things that, you know, staples that I always use that I will continue to always use and won't stop. There was some stuff I fell in love with all over again. Like, I forgot how awesome this was and I really, really enjoy it. And then there's a couple of items in here that I feel like, like, mm, it's, un it's unnecessary. Save your coins because why like why spend all that much money so to all in all i think mac is still that girl like i think we need to go back and start using her again more heavily if only if you stop using her because i know i did and i'm gonna start using her again so i feel like you know let's bring back mac right 
if you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I enjoyed making this video if you like to see more content from me and more videos like this give give me some likes you know press that like button down there let me know that you enjoy the content I'm giving you so I can give you more so I know if it's not you know a hit or miss I need a hit I need some hits so hit that like button okay and then while you down there you might as well subscribe to the channel okay and hit that notification bell so you know when the next time i upload content for you guys and as always love you guys and until next time bye